I'm Stuart McConaughey here at Titan Stove CNC. We're in the middle of Boombastic, and this is a mini segment we like to call the B. So with me, I have Dylan from Mastercam, and we're gonna go over some super cool new features of Mastercam 2022. So we've got the Titan 40M going in the machine behind us, and we've got it up on the screen here in Mastercam 2022, and we'll go over a couple new features and tool paths um, that we could apply to this part in this process. Um, so I guess one of the first things that I think about as a programmer when I look at a new part is, you know, how do I machine this feature? What tool paths specifically do I pick to actually create that uh, feature on the finished part? And for a new user especially, this can be kind of difficult. There's a lot of tool paths in that list. So how do you know what each one does and indeed if that's going to give you what you want on the final product without investing some time into each to figure out what they do. So in Mastercam 2022 we have this new multi-axis path called Unified to try and address some of that and allow you to iterate quicker and get to a final tool path faster. So let's examine this purple area that we finished on this part with a morph in Mastercam 2021. So this was the rough pattern that we ended up with, and we spent a lot of time to generate that cut pattern and then dial in our tool axis control. Now, if we had decided halfway through this path that we wanted to do a parallel instead and kind of step parallel down to the outside edge and not do that echo inwards, we would have had to start over, recreate that entire tool axis control strategy in a parallel environment. So literally starting from scratch. Let's look at how we would do this in Unified now. So with the Unified path, we've kind of combined all of the 2021 paths. But we've got our morph, parallel, cuts along curve, project curve into one kind of super path where we can mix up the options as we go. So for cut pattern here, I'll lay out my machining geometries and I'll grab all of those purple surfaces and then I'll also grab these blue surfaces up here. And right here, this is where I set the pattern. So I could say right off the bat, I just want to automatically determine the pattern on this. I don't want to choose any other options here. So we could machine parallel to the machining boundary. So let's try that and see what we get. So obviously we've got some big step overs here. And this is stepping in in parallel chunks from that outer machine boundary. Now this is probably not what you would want to do, Stuart. So this is where we would go back in and try to mix up the pattern. So we could change this to a morph machining boundary instead. And right here, this would have been a separate tool path and a completely different setup. So let's try that. That's obviously a lot closer to the path we ended up with in Mastercam 2021 and then we could move on to tool axis control here. But we can always come back and change this after. And if we don't like these automatic options, we could strip that out entirely and go right to adding manual curves. So we could set up two guide curves here and say you want to morph between a guide curve on the left side to a guide curve on the right side all without ever leaving the path or having to reselect your machining geometry, um, having to set up that complex tool axis control that we had that created the beautiful motion on this. So it really gives you a lot more options for a tool path. No, it's so helpful that you can go through, do a path and then experiment and easily and quickly bounce to another path. Programming, it's all about saving time and that's an amazing feature. Yeah, and it, this makes it really hard to step back to 2021 and not have this power. So now let's step back, we'll take a look at another 2022 feature on a simpler part that I think is gonna make a lot of big changes for people. We'll open up this aerospace rib with some pockets where we've got some choices to make on how to finish the steps and the pocket contours. So we have this, this outer pass that does the entire contour of the part and then we've gotta go back in and we've gotta finish the walls on a lot of different areas and then we've got some steps here, some ledges, some intermittent ledges that we would have to finish. And in 2021, this would be pretty much a contour path for every single bit of geometry there. But we've kind of automated that for 2022 with waterline 
critical depths. So if we look at a waterline path and we think about what a waterline path typically does, let me just select this whole part and I'll create a waterline path with our 3 quarter inch core 5 without touching any other options. And this is what we get. We get that constant Z step down. Now the functionality that's new for 2022 is that we can come in here and say, I want to use my waterline path to hit critical depths. So all the flats on the part. And we want to use this to finish up the walls in an automated fashion so we don't have to manually pick every single one of these. So we've got a lot of different choices here, but we could say contact flats only and we're going to pick out all of those flat corner intersections and try to generate waterline passes at those depths. So this is what we get as a result from that pass. It finishes the walls of every single pocket here and it also grabs these three intermittent steps too. And all we did was select the entire solid model and say go find all that. And if we updated the solid model in the future, we just reselect the geometry and hit generate. There's no reselection of individual chains to finish those contours up. That's so impressive, especially how it can go through and automatically grab all of those depths and all of the passes around it. That's a super cool feature. The last thing I want to show in MasterCam 2022 is the brand new mesh functionality. So we have an entire toolbar now in 2022 to devoted to working with mesh models, STLs, OBJs, things that are made up of tens, hundreds of thousands, millions of facets. So these are models that you can find on places like GrabCAD or that you get from scanning software. And in the past, MasterCam has been able to machine these models, but we haven't been able to modify them in any way. So this really opens up a whole new area um, for MasterCam users to, to delve into. And it unlocks these models from what would typically be relegated to, say, just a 3D printing world. So here we have a suspension arm for a bicycle, and this is a mesh model. If I click on this and I, I hit F4, my analyze key, this is actually made up of about 50,000 polygons, triangles. And we could even turn those on so we can see what we're looking at. We'll show triangle edges. This is what we've got in the background. So this looks nice initially, but it's just this one giant lump that we can't really use effectively uh, for machining or for design purposes. But let's show how we might use this to set up tool paths then. The first thing I wanna do is kind of break this up into logical areas that I might actually machine. So I'll go to my mesh toolbar and we have a massive number of commands in this mesh toolbar that's all new for 2022. And I'm gonna go right to explode mesh. So I'll select this to explode. And what I'm doing with explode mesh is I'm trying to separate these mesh regions logically so then I can toolpath on them. So I'll just hit preview here. And this is the result I get. You see the different colored areas. That's gonna break those meshes up into individual pockets that I can then equal scallop or waterline step down and finish those up rather than dealing with that single bulk model. So we could fool around with these flatness and edge angle tolerance uh, values in case we had a dirty mesh or a mesh of an organic shape and we needed to change how we're actually splitting up these mesh bodies to get different regions. So there I just played with that, that break angle tolerance between faces so I get a few more regions on this part. Now this is nice, but what's also really awesome about this is when we split this into regions, we can take things like these bores now that we see as separate entities and actually make true arcs on these so we can drive circle mills, helix bores, things that we're going to actually hold geometrical tolerances on. So I could come over here to wireframe. I could say curve one edge. I want to fit arcs and lines and I'll fit to this edge of the part and then if we actually query this this is a true arc that we can then use in a toolpath it's not some NURB spline that's unusable as an actual geometric entity if we were say using this in an assembly or doing something like resizing the bore so this is really really powerful 
for true design and machining changes. So that concludes our whirlwind tour of Mastercam 2022 features. So I hope I showed you some new and exciting things. Definitely in the world of 3D models, mesh is coming. A lot more models are coming with mesh and being able to control it and even program on it is incredible. Dylan, Absolutely. thanks so much. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. Look for Mastercam 2022 soon. And also stay tuned so that way you can see more Titans of CNC content.